Hello. Uh, in this video, I will discuss how to uh, design uh, or prepare a design for uh, thrust block, usually used in underground fire pipes. Discussion from uh, Chapter 6, Underground Piping in the BS-13 version 2022. <coughs> Uh, the purpose of uh, thrust blocks or strain joints is to transfer the uh, thrust force generated by uh, excessive pressures inside pipe at certain locations like T or plugs, bends, reducers, valves, hydrant branches, and steep grades. Uh, for steep grids, we usually use uh, a type of thrust blocks uh, called gravity uh, thrust block. Will be discussed later in this session. So the main purpose or criteria for the thrust force is to transfer the force to the soil through the larger Bearing area and uh, will be discussed how to calculate the bearing area of the block such that the resultant pressure against the soil does not exceed the horizontal bearing strength of the soil. This means that the force should not be higher than the soil strength. If it is higher than the soil strength, deformation uh, in the piping and the routing will occur and may lead to failure of the piping system, especially at these locations, fitting uh, elbow, T, uh, valves, uh, because valves usually have uh, high weight in comparison to pipes. Underground piping, by the way, uh, usually uh, you, uh, plastic pipes are usually or recommended in underground piping for, me, uh, for many reasons. First of them, its weight is lower than uh, ductile iron or metal pipes. And uh, it has a high resistance or corrosion resistance to atmospheric conditions. So this is the first slide discussing the main purpose of using thrust block. Okay, what is the main parameters to uh, prepare a design or implement a design for a thrust block? First is the pipe size, design pressure, and the bend angle, horizontal <clears throat> bearing strength of the soil. Is the four main parameters. As the bend angle increases, the thrust force will be higher, as shown here. Force or thrust force generated at this elbow increases with the bend angle. Also the pressure. If the pressure of the flowing fluid inside by pipe is uh, high, it will increase the thrust force. Also the velocity of the flow. Bend angle, as I mentioned before, increases the thrust force. Okay, uh, how to calculate the thrust force? We have two options. First option is by using the formula or equation listed in any BA13 or a tabulated, uh, tabulated values listed in this table. Let's talk about this table. In this table, the values of the thrust force can be determined 
based on the following parameters. First of them is the nominal pipe diameter in inches, bend angle, uh, 90 degree bend, 45, 22, and half degree bend, or a different angle. For example, if we have a pipe 10 inches in diameter and 90 degree bend, this thrust force will be 13,685. 6, 13, uh, dimension is in LP. But this value, this value, or important note here, for a design pressure inside pipe of 100 BSI, equivalent to 6.94. Okay, if we have a different pressure value, different than this one, how to calculate the thrust force? You have to multiply by a ratio between uh, these pressures. If pressure is 120 psi, open the calculator, we will take this value, 13685, and will be multiplied by a ratio between 120 and 100. So thrust force will increase, as I mentioned, and it increases with the pressure to this value, 16,422. The other option, or the second option, is to calculate using these formulas, also mentioned in NFD 13. The resultant uh, thrust force equals to 2 multiplied by pressure area sine theta over 2, where the pressure is the water pressure in PSI, A is the cross-sectional area of the pipe in inches square, uh, theta is bend angle from the horizontal axis X, and TY and TX, the components of the resultant, can be calculated in this formula. Uh, area, cross-sectional area, calculated by 36 multiplied by pi, 22 over, uh, over 7, and t squared, d squared, d the, which is the outside diameter of pi in feet. And we have to, uh, to consider the outside diameter of each pipe material for ductile iron. It will be different than plastic pipe or black steel pipes. Plastic pipe may be uh, HDPE by dynasty polyethylene or uh, UBPC or CBVC. Types of thrust blocks we have to uh, main types, peering thrust block and the gravity thrusting thrust block. Gravity thrust block usually used in steam grids, uh, where there is a change in the elevation of the pipe from the measured from the ground level. If we have a ground level or reference level here, underground the pipe will the elevation will be changed uh, uh, from uh, from this reference level, and we have theta in the vertical direction, the bend angle, and this is the thrust block or gravity thrust block. The second type is the peering thrust block. Peering thrust block, as shown here, a horizontal plane, and this is the elevation is the angle of the thrust uh, 
This side is called bearing side. And uh, where a contact with the soil around the bearing occurs. Thrust force usually transferred to the soil through this side. It has a dimension of B. And bearing area equals to B multiplied by the depth of the thrust block H. Uh, and H usually equals to B, have the same dimension, or uh, half the dimension of B, but, no, uh, but uh, not lower than the pipe diameter. H capital. The total depth of measured from ground level. Total depth to bottom of block. And we have here SP, the horizontal bearing strength of the soil. This is the equation to calculate the block area, which multiplied by P, and it also can be calculated by T, thrust force multiplied by a safety factor, usually 1.5 consider, and divided by soil or uh, bearing strength. It's a characteristic factor related to type of the soil. We can extract this, its value from this table depending on the type of the soil, if it is sand, sandy clay, hard clay, or silt, or soft clay. Uh, the value of SP can be extracted from here. Also, we can calculate the plug volume. Plug volume equals to safety factor multiplied by pressure area sine theta divided by density of the block material. A, cross-section area of the pipe, B, water pressure, SF, safety factor, and B, the block volume. Uh, also, we can ignore, uh, ignore uh, the formula of block area, and its value can be extracted from this table. Knowing the nominal pipe diameter, the peering block area can be got from here. But you have to consider that uh, the tabulated values here are based on 90 degree bend, 1.5 safety factor, and 100 psi design pressure. So if we have a different values, 45 degree bend, or 120 PSI, you have to consider these coefficients mentioned here, depending on the bend angle, internal pressure, and soil peeling strength. So you can get the exact value uh, of the peeling locale. Okay, by the end of this session, we can summarize uh, the following, we can get the, uh, how to design the thrust block based on, uh, based on the location, how to select the locations, as I mentioned, at pins, reducers, valves. Uh, also, how to calculate the bearing area, which is the contact area. Uh, between the, the thrust block and the soil to transfer the thrust force to the soil. Also, how to calculate the volume of the block. And at the end, additional note regarding the material of the block material uh, of the, uh, the thrust block. It usually consists of one part cement. This is the percentages. One part cement, two and one half parts sand, and five parts stone. This is the, uh, the percentage or the ratios 
of the components of the rust clock. Uh, in the next session, we can we will talk about restrained joints. And it's a criteria or uh, idea in the restraint joints uh, equal to or similar to uh, dismantling joints, usually used in weak points connecting two pipes, uh, especially UBVC or plastic pipes in general. And it will be discussed in a separate session. Thank you.